Thanks for checking out my beacons.ai digital products tutorial where I'm going to be showing you how to sell digital products on beacons.ai. If you'd like to follow along, I highly recommend clicking the link down below in the description of the pinned comment. Not only can you follow along for free, but by using that link, if you do want to upgrade, you get $20 free credit to spend on a Beacons Pro plan. My way of saying thank you so much for watching this video. With that out of the way, let's begin. All right, so I created a new tutorial account from scratch just to kind of show you how this works. I'm not going to go through adding a lot of the other links and the other things that you can do. I do have a separate tutorial for that. Here, I just want to specifically focus on selling digital products, okay? It's pretty straightforward too. So what you want to do is go to the link in bio section under link in bio and website and simply click on add block. From here, we have a multitude of things we can choose from, but we're gonna be looking for products right here. You can also see under the monetization section, it's gonna be right here. Sometimes it's called something different. I know the last time I did the tutorial, it was moved around and it might've had a different name. That's why I like redoing these tutorials to make it a little bit easier for you overall, okay? So we have product blocks, we have affiliate products, which is cool, but we're gonna be going with digital products that are right here. So let's click on the add button. All right, so these are gonna be the blocks. We have large card, grid, carousel, alternating, text left, text right, and story. So it really depends on what you're looking to do here. I specifically like the large card, but say if you're doing multiple products or something like that, carousel could work well. Let's go with large card right here, but choose the one that works best for you. All right, and so here we are. So we have digital products. Your storefront is almost ready. You don't have any products yet, obviously. <laughs> Choose from the options below to get started. So we can go with the digital product, which is what we are going to do. There's appointments, and with the course on the free plan of Beacons, you can get one free. And if you go with Pro, there's gonna be memberships. So aside from that, these are gonna be some example ones I've created in the past. Let's go with the digital product right here. So let's click this. And here we are. So there's a lot going on here, but it's a lot easier than it makes it look. Okay. So if we look on the right side first, what we're going to see is our product title. And we're just going to go all the way down through this. This is going to be probably the best way of doing it. So let's click on product title. And right here, I'm just going to do like marketing island ebook. This is 100% just an example I am creating for this. Obviously, put your own book title in there. And now that we've clicked back, we have our price as well. Let's click right here. So you can set a price as a set price. You can do pay what you want. So if you're feeling uh, risky, I guess, you know, if you're feeling dangerous, I too like to live dangerously, like from Austin Powers, you can mark as on a sale or you could do mark product free in case you want to be like a lead magnet, right? So let's say it's going to be on a sale. So the original price was, let's say 97 has to end in a seven, it's the, the magic of the internet, right? So, and then there you go, 77. That is pretty cool to do if you are in fact having a sale, it shows that little you know discount where it, it marks it off, strike through, and then as the 21% off, USD is great. Discount code if you wanna do that. And if you have a pro plan, you can enable non-guaranteed payment plans, okay? So pretty straightforward in terms of what you wanna do. That's the second section. All right, and we're moving on through. This is gonna be a template that can certainly help you out here. So get my, what do we have right here? We have an ebook. And so product name, you know, fill that in, is the ultimate, you know, ebook to help you and then blank. So let's just say this was about like marketing island. I will do this. It's the ultimate ebook to help you. And then this is like the biggest big thing. So what is the main purpose of your ebook, of your digital product, of your course, whatever it is you're selling, right? So so with the Marketing Island ebook, I'm going to show you how you can generate sales and leads around the clock while you're sleeping so you can enjoy more freedom with your family, with your friends, while also making money at the same time. Something along the lines of that. If that was a product, that would be like the hook. Okay, so these are going to mostly be bullet points with comprehensive guides, expert advice. So features and benefits. Very quickly, I will go over this. I used to be a personal trainer. I always give this example. There was someone walking me through. Uh, I wanted to actually join the gym before I became a personal trainer there. And the person trying to sell me on the membership was horrible. I already knew I was going to sign up, but she was making it even worse. She's like, we have these new state-of-the-art ellipticals, blah, blah, blah. And like everything is new. Everything is brand new. Like these are all features, but they're not great benefits. I'll give you the perfect example. Let's just say I was an old man. I was 80 years old and I had arthritis all over the place. 
What she would say to that person is that these are the state-of-the-art ellipticals that are brand new. And then you want to do something like these are beneficial because they allow you to get a great workout in without aching or putting pressure on your joints, especially your knees, allowing you to burn more calories in the process, be pain-free, and even watch your favorite sports team at the time. You said you like the Red Sox? You're from New England? Yeah, you can even watch the Red Sox at night while you're doing that. Okay, I know that's a lot of words. It's a, it's a long story just to kind of get my point home, but I hope it really helps you out when it comes to features and benefits. If you want the main phrase here is, this is beneficial because... This is important because you're going to love this because that's the bridge between what the feature is and how it's going to help them. Okay. Turn into, was it W I I F M radio? What's in it for me? Okay. You got to let them know what's in it. So it's the feature and the benefit. So I hope that helps you out when it comes to writing more benefits, you can do as many as you want. You know, the more, the merrier, as long as they're going to be beneficial towards the person that's reading it and getting it. Okay. And these are going to be more benefits. So that would be there. Don't miss out on this opportunity to take your online business to the next level. Get your hands on this today and start reaching your full potential. Okay. Pretty straightforward. That's my spiel on <laughs> descriptions. You can go with this. If you have something better to write, if you want to use AI, you can do that. If you want to use chat GPT, the world is your description oyster here. So let's go back. Now we have media. Pretty straightforward here. This is going to be the image. And I just got a new computer, so I literally have no images. I don't even have Winamp on the bottom yet. What am I thinking? That's like my number one most frequently commented phrase. You still use Winamp? Yes, I do. Just not at the moment because I haven't got it on my new computer yet. Let me go get a, uh, a royalty-free image of like an island and I'll be right back. All right, so I am back. I'm going to click on add image right here. And what I'm going to do is upload image. All right, and there it is. I think that's fine. You can crop it if you want. You can change it around, but I'm just going to keep it as is. You, normally, I'm not going to put, say, like a picture of this. It would be an ebook cover, a box. Like I said, it's just an example. I'm using this as a placeholder and also showing you how you can add the image, of course. So let's click on accept. And great. There's going to be our island right there with a person sitting there for some odd reason, of course. And if we have another image there, as you can see, let's do delete image and delete. Okay, so if you wanted to add more, you can certainly do that. You can also embed videos. If you don't want to use an image, you can just take a iPhone, if you're an iPhone person, or an Android, whatever phone you're using, you know, shoot a video of yourself and talk about what they're going to be getting. You can do that as well if you want. So really up to you there. That's going to be the media section. Let's go back. And product files. Now, in case you're curious, there's always two ways to get to this, at least at the time in this version of Beacons. You can click right here or you can go right here. But let's go down in order, product files. And you can add a link, which is the easiest way to do it. So in case you don't have a website, what you can do if you have an ebook, you can upload it to Google Drive. You can upload it to Dropbox or any of those types of file holder places. As long as the file isn't like 800 gigs, I don't think an ebook would be that big, but just kind of giving you an option. On the other hand, if you do have a file, pretty straightforward. Let's click on upload. All right, and I just simply got one from my computer. I just created one very quickly. This is going to be the file. You can do up to six of them. That is going to be that section. Okay, so product files. Now, here's going to be a few other things in case you want to utilize them. I'm not going to go through all of them. So order bumps going to be an extra little checkoff box that someone can purchase. This is all about adding another product and then going about and doing that. So I do have other ones here. If you want to create an order bump, don't do this yet. What you want to go through is finish this product. And then what you want to do is go ahead and create another product doing exactly what I'm talking about here. Then you can go back and add it in. Okay. So that's going to be something you want to do after you're done with this. You can limit product sales. Pretty straightforward. There's affiliate sharing if needed. So you can drive more sales using affiliate links. So if you want to create affiliate links, you can do that as well. There's SEO settings, and this is going to be obviously with the pro sections. If you want to do that, feel free to. Keep in mind, you're not going to be ranking for like pretty much anything that is significant in terms of big keywords. You know, you've got people who own websites investing hundreds of thousands of millions of dollars in the SEO over years, over time. You're not going to be competing with them if it's something really big. So it's not too big of a deal in terms of editing that. But if you do have a pro plan, you might as well at least to make it look better, right? SEO settings, moving down after that. Overall rating, if you want to turn it on, asking a question, there's the CTA button. So buy now, I think that's fine. You know, click here to buy now, click here to purchase. I like click here because it tells them what to do. Click here to buy now. So if you want to change that around, you certainly can. 
We have reviews and of course, check out settings, which we're gonna be getting to on the next section. So pretty straightforward. Obviously it's just gonna be like an image or a video in your description, but let's move on to the top now. We have our checkout section right here. Let's click here. All right, so this is gonna be the Marketing Island ebook. Oops, I clicked on that. If you go back to it, it will go there. We have our customer name and our email. If you wanna add any other fields, this is my disclaimer when it comes to adding fields for anything. The more fields you have, the more hoops someone has to jump through and the lower the chances are of conversion. So given the fact that name and email are required, I would not add anything else unless you 100% need them, okay? If you're gonna be putting phone number, make sure you're actually gonna be reaching out to them for a specific reason. Or like if you wanted their address, maybe you're gonna be shipping them something. But aside from this, it's just gonna be more hoops for them to jump through. If they see one or two here, that's fine. But if you start putting like your location, your your goldfish's middle name, your blood type, your favorite cereal, it's like, why are they asking me all these, okay? So just kind of uh, some perspective there in terms of adding fields. I prefer it just like this. If you wanna use those, just make sure you're gonna be using them for a specific reason, okay? It also says payment not available. We'll be getting that towards the end, so don't worry about that. Let's go back. Oops, and we are still on the checkout, so not a whole lot to kind of edit here. As you see, it's, when you click on it, it just takes you back. So that's going to be the checkout settings. It's mostly going to be the fields right here that you can edit around, and you know how I feel about those. Let's click on success screen next. All right, and so this is going to be thank you for your support. Hope you enjoy this product. And I also, would also say something like, be sure to check your inbox to get your ebook now, okay? Just giving them a light little, rec not a recommendation, but a reminder that it's going to be sent to their inbox, okay? So a lot of times, maybe they missed out on that or they weren't sure. You could even put it on the product page, like after you purchase, it'll be sent to your inbox. Just the more places you have it, the better, because sometimes if they don't realize that, you'll be getting some you know, customer supports like, hey, I just purchased this, where's my ebook? And if you can save out on people sending those messages, it's just gonna make your life a little bit easier, whether it's for you or your support team, okay? Now we have our email receipt. Okay, so your purchase from your specific account name, thanks for your order, they have the customer name, this is gonna be where they download it, this is gonna be what it looks like, and so on and so forth. So this is just an example of what it's gonna be, that's the download, and that's pretty much gonna be the email receipt. Pretty straightforward, right? It's really gonna be about tailored towards you and what you're looking to add in these specific sections. This would look a lot better if it wasn't just an island and say like the ebook cover, but I'm sure you already have that covered, okay? But that's pretty much everything there. If you wanna edit the URL, that is gonna be a pro plan feature, as you can see right here. So on the free plan, you can't do that, but let's go back right here. And what we wanna do is simply click on next. All right, so list your product, make your product available for purchase on your link and bio and website. That is exactly what we want. So let's click right here for digital products and let's do list product. All right, so your product is live on your link in bio. That is great. So what I wanna do is X out of this. And as you're gonna see, set up payments. Set up your payment methods to sell your products. This is going to be the final step before we take a quick look at what it looks like. So let's click on setup. And all you need to do here is simply connect, whether it be by PayPal or Stripe. It is very straightforward. If you already have an account, you are simply just logging into it. If you don't have an account, you are simply creating it and following along with the instructions. I do already have it connected on my other account, so I'm not gonna do it again, but let's just say I'm gonna be doing Stripe. Let's click on connect. And as you can see, this is gonna be Stripe official right here where it says powered by Stripe, where it says have a Stripe account, you can use the same email right here. So that's exactly what you wanna do. If you don't have one, just type in an email and you can continue that way. And everything is gonna be information about you. So I can't specifically help you with that because you know the information and the answers to it. But once you do that, that's how you can actually start connecting Stripe and or PayPal. That's how you can actually get paid. So let's go back now and actually have a look at what we created with beacons.ai in terms of creating our digital products. All right, so here we are. Let's hover over the link in bio and website section and we are on link in bio. So this is going to be perfect right here. This is gonna be exactly what we want. I do wanna give you one other tip. 
If you are going to be selling digital products, and that's the most important thing, just make sure that this is at the top right here in terms of underneath the header. For example, if you had like five links here, just make sure this is on the top or whatever is most important because the top is going to get the most amount of eyeballs and you want the most amount of people to see it in the first place. Okay, so that is going to be it. Let's actually take a look at it. So I'm going to open up my uh, link in bio in a new tab right here. All right, so here's where we can shop my products. We just have this one right here. So the Marketing Island ebook, let's click on buy now. And what I really like about this, especially on desktop here, it has the click here to buy now and it's always going to be there along with that discount if you have it right. And if you scroll down, it's gonna be here as well. Talks about you know the description, which we went over that where you can add a lot of features and benefits. Anyway, let's say we wanted to do click here to buy now. It's not gonna have the payment option there just because I haven't set it up in this example, but when you do it, it should. So let's click on here right now. And that is going to be that. We have our name, email address, subtotal, and of course, payment not available. That's what I was talking about. Once you actually connect them, it will show up and people can actually check out. You can get paid, they can get their ebook, and everyone is happy. So that is going to conclude my beacons.ai digital products tutorial. And this picture always cracks me up, the person with a donut there. <laughs> I always see it because I'm doing all these tutorials. But nevertheless, if you got any value out of this, be sure to give the video a thumbs up as it helps me out a ton. And of course, if you wanted to follow along, be sure to use my link down below in the description of the pinned comment. You can start for free. And if you want to upgrade to a pro plan, you get $20 of credit. Once again, my way of saying thank you so much for watching this video. My name is James. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.